welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Michelle. You've probably seen a bunch of my videos already, but I've never done an introduction video and I've showed my face on here really, except for maybe like a little spot in the corner. So I wanted to come on and introduce myself um, as the face of this YouTube channel. Um, so I actually am going to be producing a video for you today. I'm going to show you how to do a link in bio links. So you might be familiar with this if you are on Instagram and you want to um, give a website for people to go to that's not just your homepage of your website, but different links that live within that website. Or maybe you're like a blogger and you want to link to a like to know it page or any sort of like discount codes you might want to get. So instead of having that live on Linktree, I'm going to show you how you can have that live on your website. This is important because if you have links living on Linktree, then you're missing out on all of that data that you could be getting by having your links page live on your website. So by having the links page living on your own website, you get to see the actual website analytics and the real time data of what people are clicking on when they go to that links page versus having all the links in like to know it, you're not having that data. So I'm going to hop right into the video. I talk with my hands a lot, I just realized. Um, but yeah, here's a video of how to set up your own links page hop right into the video and show you how to do the links page i'm going to show you exactly what i mean so if you were to go to my instagram page and you're interested in learning more about my services what i have to offer whatever you would click the link in my bio most people have the link tree here this is what mine looks like on desktop and then this is what it looks like on mobile on the left hand side here so people have the option of going to check out what my mini course is they have the option of downloading my freebie they can go to my website templates they can shop apparel they can get some discounts and they can go to our website or they can contact us so this is instead of somebody just being able to go to this link in my bio which just takes them to the home page instead i can kind of direct them where i want them to first go as opposed to just going to michellemariestudio.com so that's the purpose of the link page so in order to set it up, I'm you know going to show you this tutorial and show it, but you can also be doing this in whatever website platform that you are most familiar in and whatever your website's in, whether that be Squarespace, WordPress, Wix, etc. It's all kind of the same thing um, of what I'm going to show you. So I'm just going to add a blank page here and I'm going to go down to this blank page and start editing in here. So I personally love when links pages have some sort of photo. So I think I'm going to add that in first. I'll probably just, you know, make it super similar to the links page that I currently have right now. So I'm going to add in a photo. Uh, let's do this photo of myself here. And remember with show it, I'm going to have to edit it on both desktop and mobile. We'll do a different view for you guys of what a links page could look like. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and just edit the mobile version while I'm playing around with the desktop version as well. Probably just do something like that. Okay, and then I'm going to add in a title here. You know, you can do something clever. You can do something easy like my links. I'm going to do take your pick. You could do, you know, like a headline of like who you are, brand and web designer, whatever you want to do. And then let's do some links here. Um, so let's do grab the free and checklist. Um, you know, whatever else you might want in here. Check out our service offerings. So I'm going to go back to editing the mobile version. Keep it like that. 
I'm going to make sure that I am centering everything. And then I'll probably do like two more here. My um, personal preference here is to have a link for them to always be able to check out your main website. This is one of my personal biggest pet peeves when I go to somebody's link in bio and they don't even have a link of like how to get to their actual homepage website. So I might, you know, I might do something like visit our website or you could do um, take me to michellemariestudio.com. So I'm going to make sure that I have that link in here somewhere. Um, then let's make this third one like um, check out or let's see um, shop the website templates. Okay, so now we have four links here, and then I'm just going to distribute the sizing to make sure there's enough space in between. Okay, that looks good here. And then I might just, you know, like add a logo or something fun in here. So let's add one of my logos in here. I could add a star in here too. This is kind of like part of my brand. Oops, I need to hold shift down to make the points stay. All right, so I'll just add this little guy in the corner maybe and on mobile, maybe I'll just keep him up here. It looks like kind of random, but whatever. Um, and then let's add one of my logos. Let's do, I don't, I think these are in black. I don't really know. Yes, perfect. All right. I'm not like a huge fan of this actually, but I don't feel like playing around with using my different logos. So I'm just going to keep this here, you know, do whatever you feel like doing to make this like look cute for your own audience. But um, you can make these apparent that they're links by changing up the effects and doing the cover options and um, you know, whatever you want to do, but just make sure that you go to your click actions and do a page and then take them to whatever page you want them to go to. So I'm going to do the branding checklist, the service offerings, which is my services page, website templates, and visit our website. I'm just going to do this as the home. Okay, so now we have the links page ready, and so we'll preview it for you, and you can see in both the mobile and the desktop. So here's the mobile view of what somebody would look like, or look of what it would look like when somebody clicks your link in your bio, and then here's the desktop view. Um, obviously, I would want to make this photo go all the way to the edge, so if you are familiar with Show It, you can do that by doing size position and horizontal locking it to the edge. So let's fix that really quick. And there we go. Here is the links page for you. This is not the window height, so that's why it's kind of showing cut off like this. So if you want to, you can just drag this down and make this more centered here um, to make it fit better on the screen. But that's how you make a super quick and easy links page. And then all you do is create the URL over here by naming the page uh in here page info and name it links or name it instagram or whatever you want to do and then click publish and then it should be live and copy and paste that url and put it in your instagram link in bio and that's it you're all done